dolphin to swordfish. Dolphin to swordfish. The guests are ready. Prepare for reception. Repeat. The guests are ready. Prepare for reception. <laughs> Hi, Mac. Sam, didn't take you long to get down here. I'm just inserting the library tape you phoned me about. A5. Yes, A5. Major Charles Taylor, Chief Test Pilot, U.S. Army Air Force, small arms expert. That's the one. You better get Joe down here, Mac. We haven't much time. Right. Joe, can you come down here? Right, Dad. Hello, well, Sam. What's this all about? Well, two leading electronics experts, Professor Bronowski and Dr. Frank Adams, secretly recruited for a top security government project in Istanbul, have both been involved in fatal air crashes en route. Bronowski and Adams. I read about the crashes, but their deaths weren't reported in the papers, Sam. Because in both cases, theirs were the only bodies not recovered. We believe they were kidnapped before the plane crashed. We've got to find out how and why. Where does Joe fit into this? Joe and you, Mac. You're both flying to Istanbul. As a world authority on electronics, you're the bait. Thanks very much. Hello, Uncle Sam. Dad? Hello, Joe. You okay? Yes, I'm fine, thank you. Good. We have another mission for you. Smashing! Yes, it could be quite exciting. Especially as I'm the bait. Now, Max, both Brunovsky and Adams were traveling on medium-range passenger jets. You'll be traveling in the same type of plane. Flight T4063, 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. Dad's coming with me. It'll be great. That's right, Joe. You could call this Operation McLean. All right, Joe? Yes, Dad. Okay, Joe. Just relax. Relax completely. Said Sam, leak it to the press that Professor McLean is flying to Istanbul. Give our unknown friends every opportunity. Don't worry, Chief. It's all taken care of. Good. Well, now it's up to the Professor and Joe Ninety. Come on, Dad. Oh, we missed the plane. For the last time, I'm in charge of this mission. Now keep calm. Now, well, where on earth did I leave my hat? You're wearing it, Dad. Huh? Oh, so I am. Well, to the car. Come on, Joe, hurry up.
I didn't think we were going to make it, Dad. Just sit back and relax. I've got everything under control. The professor and the boy. Seats 11 and 12. Thank you. Thank you very much, stewardess. Able Victor to London Control. Airborne. Switching to Channel B. Out. Athens weather report. Two tenths cloud visibility. 15 miles. No heavy traffic. Good. That means we should make Istanbul on schedule. How many passengers do we pick up in Athens, sir? Ten. We'll have a full ship for Istanbul. Ten minutes to nine. What's that you're reading, Dad? The chart of the route. In about 15 minutes, we should be over the sea. Dad, I wish I could go up to the flight deck. Do you think they'd let me? You just sit tight, Joe. We've got a job to do. see Athens again. You know, I met my first husband there. That must have been an extremely fortunate day for him, madam. Why, thank you. Dolphin to swordfish. Dolphin to swordfish. We bear for reception. Approaching Athens, start descent two minutes. Weather still holding up. Right. Well, it looks like we're going to make it. There is a passenger requesting to come into the flight deck, sir. Not right now. We're about to commence our approach to Athens. If you're staying aboard until Istanbul, I'll try to arrange it later. I'm afraid later will not do, Captain. Please do not move. Bill! You've killed him. Not a bullet, Captain. A tranquilizer pellet. He will be unconscious for hours. Now, change course to 300 degrees magnetic. Do as I say. Switch to auto control. Set rate of descent at 800 feet per minute. Thank you, Captain. Seagull to Dolphin. Seagull to Dolphin. We'll be at reception in seven minutes. Over. Good, Seagull. It should be a successful party. Dolphin to Swordfish. Dolphin to Swordfish. Reception in seven minutes. Repeat. Reception in seven minutes. Joe, something's wrong. We should be approaching Athens Airport, but we're still over the sea. Have you got that pocket compass with you? Yes, Dad. Joe, 
This reads 300 degrees magnetic. That's at least 100 degrees off course. How clever of you, Professor. Now do precisely as I say. Come with me to the rear compartment. I'll give you exactly five seconds. Do as I say, or your boy dies. <laughs> Dad, no! Don't worry about me, son. Just do what you've been told. After you, Professor. Dad! Dad! What is it? That man! Look! He's got a gun! If anyone makes a move in the next 15 seconds, it will be his last. Say, what's going on? Right. Inside the escape unit, Professor. What was that? They've ejected! He's unconscious. What? Then who's flying the plane? No one. And we're losing height. We're going to crash. We'll all be killed. Now look, look stay calm. Help me with these escape doors. We'll never get through there. It's solid steel. We've got to. It's our only chance. <laughs> Sam, they forced that out of the plane. A man and a stewardess, and we're diving. Joe, Joe, put on the glasses. Uncle Sam, Dad's gone, and everybody. Joe, listen to me. Put on the glasses. The glasses, Joe. Put them on. Oh, the glasses. Put them on, Joe. Open up. Open up in there. Joe. Joe. Okay, Sam. I've switched to manual. I'm trying to pull her out of the dive. If there's time. Climbing. We're climbing. Okay, Sam. We're going back upstairs. Everything's a-okay. Nice work, Joe. What are you going to do now? Level off at 5,000 feet, then head back to where the professor was forced to eject. As near as I can judge, it was grid reference point TU-74. Right. I'll alert the Navy. Uh, they won't get far. Thanks. <laughs> You have excelled yourself, Kramer. It was too easy. I'd have thought world intelligence might have given the professor at least a one-man escort. Yes. However, I have an extremely interesting proposal for you, Professor. Do you think, after what you've done to my boy and the other people on that plane, that I'd be interested in anything you had to say? We have ways of making you cooperate, Professor. Kramer is screwed. But right, my friend. Ways that you could never possibly envisage. You're wasting your time. We shall see, Professor. However, that we wait till we are aboard the submarine. It's a sub, just surfacing. 
Grid reference TU74.1. Grid reference TU74.1? That's a restricted area, Joe. It could be the pickup for the professor. Is there no trace of him? No, I can't see it. Hey, wait a minute. There's something. Looks like a speedboat. Hey, that must be it. Joe, whatever happens, don't let that speedboat get near the sub, or we may never see the professor again. But Sam, this is an airliner, not a jet fighter. Joe, you can do it. Remember, you have the knowledge and experience of one of the world's finest pilots. The patrol's on its way. Just keep the speedboat away from the sub till they get there. Okay, Sam. I'll do my best. You will find it's a most interesting project, Professor. An orbiting satellite broadcasting sonic death rays capable of paralyzing whole cities. What is it, Kramer? It's a plane. We think it's just some sort of passenger jet. It's very low. You're right. You fool, Kramer. It's the plane AV-21. It's the aircraft you were supposed to have destroyed. I don't understand. It must have crashed. Both the pilots were unconscious. One of them must have recovered. Impossible. Then it must be a passenger. No. We checked most carefully. None of them has any experience of flying. One has. Who? My son, Joe. Kramer? A boy! Nine! Ten at the most! You have a very strange sense of humor, Professor. We shall see. I think he's coming round again. I'm going in to divert the speedboat. Good luck, Joe. It's heading straight for us. We are going to crash. I managed to turn them, Sam. But they're coming back for more. Hold them just a little longer, Joe. The naval patrol is nearly with you. This time, Kramer, whatever happens, maintain course. I understand. Dolphin to swordfish. Dolphin to swordfish. We are under attack. Require immediate assistance. Require immediate assistance. So that's the way things are. Whoever's flying that plane is throwing it around like a toy. It's still coming. That's my boy. Shut up! It's coming through everything. Just maintain course. You'll kill us all. This time there's no turning back. Don't give way, Joe. No! the engine. Don't bother. Look. Professor, I know when I'm beaten, but tell me one thing, who was piloting that plane? It was Joe, my son. Well done, Joe. Mission completed, Sam. Over and out. Cap 
Captain William Barry and co-pilot Frank Casper, who together played a major part in foiling a sinister plot to destroy the free world, were at Buckingham Palace this morning for the Royal Investiture. Authorities at Mayland Military Hospital report that both are in good health, but have suffered a complete loss of memory of the events leading up to the incident. A hospital spokesman said, in such cases of severe strain, total amnesia is not uncommon and the full facts might never be known. I wonder what they'd say if they knew what really happened. They never will, Mac. But that's life, Joe, in the W.I.N. <laughs>